Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at price elasticity of demand, PED calculations, PED examples, and then we'll be finishing off with a summary. So, when we're talking about the price elasticity of demand, let's start off with what we know about demand. We know that if the price of a good changes, we know that the quantity demanded will change too, which gives us our demand curve here, which is downward sloping. And you can go back to a previous video to understand why it is downward sloping. However, the amount by which demand will change is going to depend on the good itself. So what do we mean by that? Let's start off with an example. Bread is a necessity. So even if the price increases, you may still demand it just as strongly. So as it's seen as a necessity, if say the price of bread was still very cheap, then you're going to buy it. But because it is so important to your diet, if it say increased in price significantly, you might still end up buying it. So say the price of the bread was £1.50 a loaf, but then it was £5.50. You would still end up demanding it because it's a necessity. On the other hand, something like a ring is not a necessity. So an increase in the price of a ring may mean that you buy less rings. So again, if the ring is really cheap, you probably will buy it because it's not a necessity. You might see it as something quite valuable. However, if that ring is suddenly super expensive, then you will not buy it because it's not necessary for your living. So the characteristic which determines the extent to which demand will change due to a given change in price is called the price elasticity of demand. And the definition of price elasticity of demand, or PED, is the responsiveness of demand for a good or service to a change in its price measured as a numerical value greater than zero. So this, uh, to determine PED, we're going to be looking at some maths for this. So in general, the elasticity is seen as the responsiveness of one variable to a change of another variable. And that's where we're talking about the bread, where once we change the price, that's the variable we're changing. And we're going to see how much demand our second variable changes. And we see that it doesn't change very much. On the other hand, we have the ring where there is a change in the price, but then we see a very vast change in the demand for rings. So as I said, PED is going to involve doing some calculations. And if PED is a value which is measured, and that measure shows the change of demand due to a change in price, we can put this into an equation. And the equation for PED is going to be percentage change, and this symbol here stands for the Greek letter delta, and all that means is change. Percentage change of quantity demanded of good A divided by the percentage change price of good A. And in an exam, you might end up forgetting which way up it goes, quantity above price, but the best way to remember it, in my opinion, that I learned in school, was you Q before you P. So basically, Q goes above P always, hence Q before you P. It is important to note that PED is always positive. So plus or minus signs regarding the percentage changes are not considered during the final calculation. So let's work through an example. The percentage increase, so it's positive, in the price of a good is 100%. And the percentage decrease in quantity demanded of this good is 50%. So that's minus 50% as it's a decrease. So now let's go ahead and calculate the PED. So our equation is the percentage change of quantity demanded, QD, quantity demanded, over the percentage change of price. So our quantity reduced from 50%. So we have minus 50%. And that is going to be over positive 100% because the price increased by 100%. So it's positive. And what's that equal to? That's equal to minus 0.5. Now, like I said earlier, that minus sign doesn't matter. 
as PED is going to be a positive number. We now know how to calculate PED. We need to know how to calculate percentage change in order to use PED. Remember, we're not using just the raw unit amount. We use the percentage change. So how to calculate percentage change? Remember this delta sign, that means change. So percentage change is equal to the new figure minus the old figure divided by the old figure times 100. So when we're dividing it by the old figure, remember this is gonna be in a bracket of sorts. And then the times 100 comes after we have calculated this fraction, okay? So let's work through another example for how to calculate the percentage change. The price of a chocolate bar increases from one pound to two pounds. So what is the percentage change? So percentage change, percentage delta, is equal to two pounds minus one pound, all divided by one pound times by 100. What's that equal to? So this initial fraction is gonna be equal to one over one times that by 100 is equal to 100%, okay? So it's a very straightforward calculation, but make sure when you're calculating PED, do not use your raw unit. Do this percentage change method to make sure you're doing it correctly because PED is percentage change. So now let's do a complete example of PED. So the price of a football falls from five pounds to two pound 50 and the quantity demanded increases from three to nine. So using these numbers, we're going to be able to calculate PED. So the first step that we're gonna take is to write down our equation for PED. And remember, it is going to be Q before P, okay? Q before P. Then the second step is going to be writing down our equation for percentage change, which is the new figure minus the old figure, all divided by old figure, times 100 and the times 100 puts it in percentage terms so let's first find the percentage change in the quantity demanded so our quantity demanded changed from three to nine so our new figure is nine and our old figure is three all divided by the old figure which is three times by 100 what's that equal to we have six over three times 100 which gives us two times 100. Therefore, our percentage change in quantity demanded is 200%. If that was too fast for you, go back and look it over. But remember our new quantity after the change in price was nine and the old quantity before the change in price was three. So now the next step is to calculate the percentage change in price. So. Again, it's new figure minus old figure. The new figure is two pound 50. And the old figure is five pounds, all divided by the old figure of five pounds times by 100. So what's this gonna be equal to? Well, we're gonna have minus two pound 50 at the top, all divided by five times by 100. And this is gonna equal minus a half times 100. And that's going to equal minus 50%. So that's our percentage change in price. So now that we have our percentage change in price and our percentage change in quantity demanded, we put these figures together to find our expression for the PED. So it's Q before UP. So the percentage change in quantity was 200%, that was a positive number, all divided by the change in price, which was negative 50%. Therefore, our PED is equal to minus four. But remember, we don't care for the negative sign as PED is always a positive number. Therefore, our final PED is going to be four. Hey guys, 
I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're looking for an amazing A-level economics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make A-level economics a walk in the park.